algorithm. Euclid's division algorithm is a technique to compute the greatest common divisor GCD of two given positive integers. We know about greatest common divisor and least common multiple. GCD and LCM are correlated to each other. Greatest common divisor If A and B are positive integers and if C divides A and C divides B, we say C is a common divisor of A and B. Since C is less than or equal to A and C is less than or equal to B and the number of positive integers less than A and B both is finite, there must be the largest common divisor of A and B. This positive integer is called the greatest common divisor of A and B. So, the greatest of all the common divisors of A and B is called the greatest common divisor of A and B and is denoted by GCD of A and B. If D is a GCD of A and B, then D divides A and D divides B. 2. If C divides A and C divides B, then C is less than or equal to D. D is the greatest common divisor of A and B. 3. If C divides A and C divides B, then C divides D. Proof of Euclid's division algorithm as follows. Suppose A and B are positive integers where A is greater than B. Now divide A by B and we will get successive division as follows. A is equal to B Q0 plus R0. 0 is less than or equal to R0 less than B. B is equal to R0 Q1 plus R1. 0 is less than or equal to R1 less than R0. R0 is equal to R1 Q2 plus R2. 0 is less than or equal to R2 less than R1 up to R n minus 3 is equal to R n minus 2 Q n minus 1 plus R n minus 1. 0 is less than or equal to R n minus 1 less than R n minus 2. Repeating this process gives successively smaller numbers until one of them is 0. We get R n plus 1 is equal to 0. So, R n minus 2 is equal to R n minus 1 Q n plus R n and 0 is less than or equal to Rn less than Rn minus 1. Rn minus 1 is equal to Rn Qn plus 1. Non-zero remainder Rn is a GCD of A and B. Rn divides Rn minus 1. Rn divides Rn minus 2. Up to so on, Rn divides B. Rn divides A, where D is equal to GCD of A and B. And if D is equal to GCD of A and B, then D divides A, D divides B, D divides R0, D divides R1, D divides Rn minus 2, D divides Rn minus 1, D divides Rn. Therefore, Rn is equal to D. Therefore, GCD of A and B is equal to Rn is equal to non-zero remainder. If B is factor of A, then for positive integer C, A is equal to BC. B is the factor of A and B. B is the highest factor of B. Therefore, if B divides A, 
then GCD of A and B is equal to B. Use Euclid's algorithm to find the GCD of 120 and 23. Solution is as follows. 120 is equal to 23 into 5 plus 5. Here, A is equal to 120, B is equal to 23, Q0 is equal to 5, R0 is equal to 5. 23 is equal to 5 into 4 plus 3. Here, B is equal to 23, R0 is equal to 5, Q1 is equal to 4, R1 is equal to 3. 5 is equal to 3 into 1 plus 2. Here, R0 is equal to 5, R1 is equal to 3, Q2 is equal to 1, R2 is equal to 2. 3 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. Here, R1 is equal to 3, R2 is equal to 2, Q3 is equal to 1, R3 is equal to 1. 2 is equal to 1 into 2 plus 0. Here, R2 is equal to 2, R3 is equal to 1, Q4 is equal to 2, R4 is equal to 0. Therefore, last non-zero divisor is 1. Therefore, GCD of 120-23 is equal to 1. Use Euclid's algorithm to find GCD of 420 and 130. Solution is as follows. 420 is equal to 130 into 3 plus 30. A is equal to 420. B is equal to 130. Q0 is equal to 3. R0 is equal to 30. 130 is equal to 30 into 4 plus 10. B is equal to 130. R0 is equal to 30. Q1 is equal to 4. R1 is equal to 10. 30 is equal to 10 into 3 plus 0. R0 is equal to 30. R1 is equal to 10. Q2 is equal to 3, R2 is equal to 0. Therefore, last non-zero divisor is 10. Therefore, GCD of 420, 130 is 10. Least common multiple. If A divides M, and B divides M for natural numbers A and B and M, then we say M is a common multiple of A and B. The set of common multiples of A and B is a set of natural numbers. So, this set has a least elements. This number is called the least common multiple of A and B. We write it as shown here. For positive integer, given relation is true. We accept it without proof. LCM of A and B into GCD of A and B is equal to A into B. Example A shop owner has 330 toothpaste and 65 bottle of hair cream. He wants to stake them in such a way that each stake has the same number and they take up least area of shop. What is the maximum number of each item can be placed in stake for this purpose? Solution is as follows. 
Suppose D is number of items in each stake. In each stake, number of items is same. Now, 330 upon D and 65 upon D is a number of stake. This number will give the maximum number of items in each stake and number of stakes will be the least. The area of the shop that is used up will be the least. So, D is equal to GCD of 330.65. Now, 330 is equal to 65 into 5 plus 5. 65 is equal to 5 into 13 plus 0. Therefore, non-zero remainder is 5. Therefore, GCD of 330.65 is equal to 5. So, the shop owner can make stakes of 5 for both kinds of items.